Athletes will get tested at the end of every session, the last week of the session in class. If athlete wants to progress at a quicker pace, they can get tested at open gym or in a private lesson. Each class has its own section. Once each section of the skill sheet is passed, then they get a trophy, a bigger one, and then they move into the next skill level. So after each section is completed on the skill sheet, they get a small trophy. And then once all the sections are completed, they get a bigger trophy and then they progress into the next skill level. Gymnastics has bar, beam, floor, and tram as their sections. Tumble has floor, tram, and air track. Cheer has arm movements, stunts, and tumbling. Ninja Monkey Parkour has vault, free running, and bars. Rhythmic Gymnastics has dance, acro, and apparatus. Another way to help athletes boost their self-esteem and progress through our skills is our ribbons of achievement. Gymnastics, tumble, cheer, rhythmic gymnastics, and ninja all get ribbons for these things. The cartwheel on the floor, handstand, round off, kickover, one-handed cartwheel, bridge from standing, bridge pop up, and holding a handstand walking hands in with belly button facing the wall for one minute. Cheer bear and cheer stunt get ribbons for uh, cheer spirit, cheer arm movements, cheer tumbling, and cheer stunting. Ninja monkey parkour get ribbons for front hip rollover on the bar, front flip, back flip, butterfly kick, a uh, coffee grinder right and left on the floor. We follow Patty's All American skill sheets, and she believes, and I do too, that we should start testing in parent taught class. This is a great bonding for parents and the toddlers. They're both learning gymnastics together. The parent gets to assist the entire time with all the skills and they get tested on each section of gymnastics, the bar, beam, vault, and floor. Uh, so it's a great a learning for both the adult and the child through the class, building knowledge of gymnastics and helping your little one progress through the skill sheets. Now, not everyone gets a trophy because sometimes the little ones aren't sure of the movements, especially if they're one. So they get ribbons after instead of a mini trophy. Uh, these will be collected at the desk at the end of class. So when some athletes do get trophies and some get ribbons, they won't know. Uh, we try to give it discreetly and then the parent can um, tell the athlete that they got a fantastic ribbon or a fantastic trophy after they got tested. But the sooner they start testing, the better so they understand when they get to the preschool level. Preschool gymnastics looks similar to parent taught with a little bit more difficult skills added on. Now in preschool gymnastics, they are doing the skills by themselves um, with the prompt of the coach. This is a great uh, learning experience for the athlete. We try to make testing fun and positive. Also their trophy or ribbons will be collected discreetly at the end of class because they're younger and they might not understand exactly what's going on. But our goal as coaches is to get them to pass testing and you will see them progress through the level. This is also laying a great base for the other classes that come after preschool gymnastics, like the junior beginning and the beginning gymnastics. Junior beginning gymnastics is progressing for beginners to prep for beginning gymnastics and then advanced beginning gymnastics. The skills keep building on top of each other and there's things that parents can do at home to help their athlete. They can practice the handouts that are given at the end of class with athlete at home and doing any strength skill with them at home, like doing push-ups with them or uh, squats or when they're watching TV doing jumps on and off a stool uh, like a step stool that's low, but they can still get jumping with two feet. Strength moves help tremendously with all sports. 
Beginning gymnastics is progressing from junior beginning gymnastics, but if your athlete is a beginner at seven, this is also a great class for them. They will be progressing upon the skill sheet and learning more vocabulary in gymnastics. All videos of the movements can be found on Jackrabbit for the parents to view. And Jackrabbit will also keep track of your athlete skills, which ones they've passed and not passed. If you go to Renatus Athletics, Marion V. Ashley and Francis Dominagoni. If you go to Lake Elsinore or Murrieta Community Center, you will have a paper uh, handout that will help you keep track of your athlete skills. Advanced beginning gymnastics starts getting a little bit more difficult because the bar is all strength. So especially in this class, if your athlete is getting stuck on a skill, this would be a great time to do the private lesson and get some one-on-one -on -one so your athlete can understand the movement in more detail. Also, you can do open gyms that are offered one Saturday out of the month uh, at the Marion V. Ashley. And more, infor more information on open gym will be out soon. Intermediate gymnastics is building upon the advanced beginning gymnastics. And again, the bar is all strength. And that is definitely the most difficult section to pass in the artistic gymnastics. So if you do need the private lesson or going to open gym or even doing the bar and beam clinic that is offered one Saturday out of every month at Marion V. Ashley Community Center would be great choices for your athlete to continue to progress and not feel like they're getting stuck at a level. Tumble one and two are a combo class, but they have two different skill sheets. This is tumble one skill sheet and their sections are clearly stated with what needs to be passed and on what piece of equipment. Tumble two skill sheet is progressing upon tumble one skill sheet and it's taking a lot of those movements to the floor without using the equipment, making the athlete stronger in order to progress through the floor tumbling. Strength is the key in any sport. Making sure the athlete is strong enough to do the skill correctly in gymnastics. Tumble three skill sheet is progressing upon tumble one and two skills, getting more difficult, the athlete is learning handstand walking with proper body control and other harder skills in this class. Throughout all of the tumbling classes, there's going to be flexibility handouts and strength handouts that the athletes need to do at home. Cheer Bears is a class for ages three to six years. So to prep them for cheer stunt at age seven, they have their arm movements for cheer they need to learn tumbling and their jumps. And then they will also have to know their cheer and stunts that they are working on at that time. There will be handouts telling the parents like what is going on, what cheers they need to practice at home, what tumbling skills they're working, what arm movements, so you can help your athlete progress. Also private lessons are offered, open gym, and if they want to get tested before the end of the session or if they want that extra work so when they do get tested at the end of the session, they do pass and get their trophy. Cheer Stunt is following the USA uh, Cheer Guidelines and USA Gymnastics Guidelines for cheer. So the athlete can try out later in high school and make the team. So their testing is the arm movements tumbling and jumps, three cheers, and four stunts. So they will have to get tested with a partner when it comes to stunting, with maybe one partner or three partners, depending on what stunt they are working. Ninja Monkey skill sheets are level one through three, and they are following the Freedom in Motion skill sheets. The first skill sheets are free running, vaulting. There's not a lot of rolling going on yet until level two. So 
when you are watching this video, it's going to kind of skim through these ninja skill sheets. It's laying a great base in level one. So level two and level three, the athlete is really progressing nicely. Um, the strength moves are a little difficult on the bar at level three in the ninja monkey. Preschool Rhythmic Gymnastics is laying a great foundation for level one rhythmic gymnastics. They will get tested on one of the sections at the end of the session. And athletes will get handouts and coloring pages to help guide them in their skill sheet. To help your athlete progress through the skill sheet, I highly recommend taking two classes a week, a tumble class with a cheer class, an artistic gymnastics class, a tumble and another tumbling class, uh, a rhythmic gymnastics class and a tumble or a ninja monkey parkour and a tumbling class. Also, you can get tested at open gyms during private lessons and at the end of the session, it will always be offered at the end of the session, being tested on one section. So you can speed up the process of getting tested if you want to schedule a private lesson. Or the private lesson could just be used to work a skill that maybe the athlete is having a little difficulty with and needs that skill broken down more for them. These are just helpful things that uh, I feel like will help your athlete. It's great when the coaches are working one-on-one -on -one with the athlete to help them progress through the skill sheet. We want your athlete to be successful and to move through the skill sheet, gymnastics and parkour and cheer and rhythmic gymnastics are all difficult sports. So it does take a while to master these skills.